Fuck off, Shen. Get out of there. Piece of shit. Alright, hey guys, welcome back to, uh... XCOM 2. War of El Chosen. Uh, so we're doing this one because, uh, I, I don't want to miss Overwatch shots. I'd rather have all my soldiers stolen than, than miss a, a single Overwatch shot because they'll piss me off. So we got this guy now. Um, he's a Templar. Uh, so he's got, like, some points for me to work with. So uh, I'll roughly go into what he does. So he's got, um, so his abilities, he's got these side blades. He's got a melee attack with a chance to stun or disorient target. Cannot miss. Triggers something called momentum and generates focus on kills. So... Uh, this is like a weird like RPG-ish kind of guy, but it's uh, basically focus uh, increases damage of certain uh, of certain abilities, and as far as I know, it's permanent. Maybe you have some ways of spending it. I'm not sure, but it basically does more damage. Um, so after they cast rend, they will gain momentum, meaning uh, so they use rend, they hit something with melee, and it allows them a movement turn. So you can kind of go out in the open, melee them, and then kind of go back, which is kind of nice. And they they got pretty reliable chance to hit as well. They got some stun and disorient chance as well in there. So not so not too bad. Uh, then they got this thing, Vault. Psionic attack that deals low damage and ju jumps to nearby units at fo higher focus levels, and that costs focus, so it does cost focus. Um, it has no cooldown, but costs one focus, and deals double damage to psionic units. Um, it can jump to... A number of units equal to the current uh, focus level. Um, and this one's uh, gain focus during missions, increasing stats, damage, and ability effectiveness. Focus can be spent on powerful abilities. So, uh, focus level 1, damage, mobility, dodge. Level 2, damage, mobility, dodge, and once again, 3. So, getting 2 points is actually really nice and, and that kind of stuff. Alright, so he's basically kind of like a light guy that goes back and kind of just like you want to finish people off. Apparently, he has combat. Intelligence standard. That's these other abilities. After attacking with Ren, prevent all damage from next attack instead of moving. Um, uh, which is an interesting one. Uh, mo both melee and ranged attacks, and will use the action granted by momentum. Basically, allows you to stay in the position you're in, uh, but you only uh, it only works for one attack, which could be good, could be bad. I don't know. I, I just didn't like the idea of like bring this guy out in the middle of nowhere and like having him focus down by three different people and like flanked and shit. Alright, so after uh, target struck by Vault will be easier to hit, increasing your uh, squad's aim by 15 against the target. Um, lasts for two turns. Affect all units hit by Vault if it jumps multiple times. That seems pretty good like a support thing. Amplify. Mark a single target with the psionic lens, causing him to take 30, additional 33 damage from a number of future single target attacks. Cost one focus. That is pretty good. Amplify does not end your turn and will last for the number of successful. Okay, so it's successful attacks against him. So if I have like three focus and the next three attacks do 33 percent more damage, that could be really good. But we'll try. We'll try this one just because I, I think people yelled at me not to to do more parry stuff. I mean, Amplify seems pretty good too. We could just use our XCOM AP on this, but I'm lazy. We're not gonna do that. All right. Anyways, I know there's a bunch of empty slots here, but we don't currently have any ammunition or anything to fill up these slots with, but at least we're gonna be doing more damage. You know, I could just like upgrade our, our guns now. We have like a multitude of different kinds of guns, so maybe we shouldn't do that. Let me see here. We have, yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. I just decided. Because we want to spend money on the workshop. What the hell does this button do? Toggle resistance network. Okay, well, apparently it doesn't do anything. Alright, well, let's go do this. So yeah, that's it. Um, so, we'll give him a try. We have tons of grenades, so we should be pretty good. Wish we had, like, another... Probably we should have flashbangs to give the pad, but, you know. It reminds me too much of Kyle Katarn. It makes me sad. Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Honestly, I probably should have that because we have so many slots free. That it, uh, at least like nanoscale vests or something, all right? I don't know, I'm retarded. What can I say? I'm, I'm actually During gonna get nanoscale vests. Operation, our friends in the resistance picked up readings from a massive psionic transmitter advent just deployed in this area. As we understand it, destroying that transmitter while it's still connected to their network would cause catastrophic outages across the region. So that's exactly what we're going to do. This is why I always go for the armor first, by the way, because it's something that everybody can benefit from right away. 
opposed to all these like stupid weapon choices. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. As Templar warriors, my followers specialize in wielding psionic energy, mastering the power that belongs to all who are truly of this earth. Through intense focus, we can twist the very fabric of the world around us to suit our needs. All right, so... You gain focus uh, on the missions by killing uh, uh, units with rent. Each point increases their combat effectiveness by uh, boosting mobility, dodge, and rent damage. Uh, so it's pretty good. All right, we have four turns to fucking do this. So, oh my lord, how are we supposed to get there in four turns? Actually, I was zoomed in, but actually, I still don't know how we're supposed to get there in four turns. Dude, how are we supposed to do anything here? This is where we hope that they run away. Is there like something over there? No, we have to go through there. We have no chance. Time to motor. Time to motor, indeed. Alright, hopefully they fuck off, but you know. They're definitely not fucking off. Alright, the Master of Stealth out. me is gonna go in. Alright, so... Alright, so what do they want me to do? They want me to hit that thing, so we have to kind of go more to the side anyways. But there's a nice thing over there, so... Um, luckily they're down there, so I think we'll be okay. Position confirmed. Just make sure we have uh the advent captain would serve our purposes nicely if it can be disabled. Okay, so there's no one actually over there. Will they? Do we have to run all the way over there? What the fuck? A good decision. Uh, dude, this is not a good decision. This is the, the What? Us. What? Wait. How do they see me? Well, we're gonna die if we do this, so uh, we can't do that. I was pretty sure that was not uh, a spot where I could be revealed. Oh, uh, you know what it probably was? It's probably the the giant sectoid man, and he was over there. I think it was just giving me the uh, reveal radius for something else. Fucking Scorch. Actually, why? Wh who's Scorch? Oh, that's that guy. Okay, never mind. It's all good. All right. So I was pretty sure it wasn't giving me that as a... Yeah, it was said this was fine, however, it, there was a there was a secretary guy, so... That's probably actually why. Oh well, it's okay, don't worry guys. There's an advent captain nearby. We should attempt to disable it with the skull jump. Oh, Our right. indicate that Relay is feeding energy There's directly relays. into their network. If Forgot they about that. It, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, this seems really impossible. I'm missing something Roger here. Locked. And I was missing something. Alright, Ken, don't trigger him. I swear to God, I want to load again. You fucking piece of shit. Alright. <laughs> why are you... Why are you so bad at... Not triggering everything? Instead, trigger me. All right, so let's let's just accept the fact that the the, the square to the left of my character is terrible. Would make an ideal target for the Skulljack. Our readings indicate that Relay is feeding energy directly into their network. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. Roger that. Good to go. All right, now we're good. All right. Ah, uh, and they're going back in. Oh well, it's okay. At least we know now that um, we have to destroy those little things. I, f I, I knew there, there was something to this. Wait, what? You get a shot right away? That's not fair. And now he's just calmly walking over here. 
Alright. Rev up those skull jacks, guys. Uh, we can lightning hand something. Like that thing. Give us some more time. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. X-ray neutralized. Alright. Here's a question, do we can we I don't even think we can really get a flank on this guy. What's this one? Demolition. Destroy the cover he's behind. Uh I don't think I should have moved Cand or me or something. 70%. Alright, we can rend people and do whatever. So this does 4 to 5 damage. So I'm thinking actually we rend actually the guy over here. Oh, well, actually that could kill him. Actually, what, why does it do so much damage? Feel the power of the Templars. What the hell? Malay vulnerability, that's why. As we have. Well, the strength of the Templars ebbs and flows with the tide of combat. As we focus our energy, our power increases and can be unleashed upon our enemies. So we can use momentum to stay in the, uh, to move around or something. We can just stay here if we want to just parry. I mean, we could just try to parry. Just curious if uh, I'll do anything interesting. I want to skulljack that guy. Heading out. All right, not too bad. Okay, you can do what? I thought you had the fuck, Starfall. I thought I thought you were a uh... oh, you're a regular medic. Oh, rip. Um, just gremlin heal. Give him a heal. I, ma I made you that kind of medic. I did not see that coming. Oh. All right. Well, we don't care about the loot destroyed. Alright, let's try and skull jack him. Jacking in. Uh oh, we should put that on our hackers too. Advent Psionic Network. I have dedicated our systems to processing the new data, but we will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they detect our intrusion. Commander. That appears to be the codex responsible for safeguarding the alien data stores. We'll have to neutralize it if we intend to recover the data. Understood. Weapons hot. We've got our target. No. This is bad. Uh, wait, he missed a grenade. What? Nothing the personnel. This appears to be in a state of flux, existing simultaneously oh, fuck. across multiple dimensions. All right, all I remember is that that is a terrible idea uh, for me to be here right now. Sure thing. But he's gonna teleport around, so. That will do it. Fuck! We made a clone. Wait, how did we? Oh, yeah, we did a little bit of damage. Like this, the codex is projecting multiple copies of itself into our dimension. Yeah, we kind of need to move you out of there. Ah. Uh, we have running gun. We also have rend. Yeah, boy. Oh, wait, wait. We should have moved him out. Oh, God. Don't, don't detonate. Get out, get out, get out. Get out of there, it's gonna blow. I'm ready. Oh my god, that worried the fuck out of me. 
Alright. Can we, can we, uh, okay, we can animate sword, uh, animate sword. Oh, dude, I, 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 I panic, man. Provide some insight into the aliens' ongoing plans. Moving to position. All right. That was actually a pretty bad place for me to be, but it looks like he's moving around like a tart, anyways. What? He had a plan, guys. This wasn't a very good plan. Oh, we can't rend them. Yeah, I want to kill that actually. If you say so. As long as we keep getting these, we should be fine. Let's do this. Fifty-five percent. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Of course I got the 55. You can't handle me. You can't handle me. Alright, well, how far are we from the network thing? Uh, yeah, we probably should do, do the uh, long ass uh, run over. On it. Alright, so there's another one right there. We can actually just rend it. So yeah, we should start just, uh, just try to think. Can't have a reaction, sort of. I'm on it. Kind of does. I think we should just spend one turn moving people up, sort of, because I'm worried that there's something. There's a pot over here. There's a pot over here. So if we get everyone up Moving into out. position, then there's really no issue. Not a problem. But there's only three turns left. Alright, let's start going in. Alright, well, since Kand really won't be doing much with his turn anyways. Oh, we can hit that. So we, we, do, we just don't know what's here. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. Go a little bit further up. Okay, looks like it worked out. Go, go, go! Ten four. Oh, we should definitely have the next turn though. Guide my hand. I was uh, there was another one here. I didn't even see, I didn't even notice. I would have actually shot at it. Where's the other one? Oh, that one, huh? Okay. Well, go. should we? I guess we'll just do kind of like a breach then. On the move. You want to see his gun? Agreed. It's a doozy. It's pretty sweet though, actually. I have to say. On my way. Ready to engage. Already. Ready to rock. Is that everybody? Uh, reloaded. More reloads. Alright, let's get the network thingy. Someone needs to open the door. Fuck. Okay, you can open the door. Ah, oh, there you go. That's a confirmed visual on the transmitter. Plant the X4 charges before they can cut it off from the network. I wonder, can we rend and then move back and then fucking get that? I'm, I'm just, I'm asking for a friend, by the way. All right, so, so we have Vault as well, but we have a guaranteed kill on basically the guy up here. Like, dude, the Templars are actually fucking sick. You would question our power? 
Alright, before we do anything else with him. I guess we're gonna go Absolutely. behind this guy. That's really the dodge. Sorting a good idea here. Probably. Fucking seriously. Dude, every every like shitty hit we've we've managed. Oh my god. Can we just end? Yeah, what what wait, does Pat have an extra action that's like Okay, good. You know what? You teamwork him. Thank God. Only the best. I'm running low on ammo. All right, so this guy can do something. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just curious if I can. Okay, I probably shouldn't do anything like that. Uh, I'm trusting you here. Yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. You'll get the crit, I'm sure. Cool, you got it. We're not picking up any other contacts. Get those charges deployed. So can he? Can any of the? No, none of them can do anything. About to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. Signal confirmed. X4 charges are active. That transmitter is history. Good work, Commander. Good times. Just pat in the background there. Operation Empty Night. A reminder to all citizens, vigilance is your duty. Failure to report suspicious activity in the vicinity of critical infrastructure areas can lead to detainment and expulsion from city centers. Your cooperation is appreciated. Is she aware her name is Propaganda Announcer? Our troops are making it look easy out there, Commander. All thanks to you. Nobody got level up. <laughs> Commander, please thank our troops for completing what was surely a difficult task in acquiring the Codex Brain. We'll begin work on it as soon as possible. All right, we got the Viper Autopsy 2 and Alien Encryption. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. New objective added. All right, we got Alien the Encryption. Aliens are relaying a form of encryption beyond anything we've ever encountered, much less theorized. We'll have to find a means of breaking the code. I expect it will take some time. That was going on here. The bond between these soldiers continues to grow. They can gain additional tactical strengths if they continue their training together. Yeah, boy. Bond training. They'll be gone for three days. It's okay. Spotter one. This soldier is granted an aim bonus whenever their bond bondmate has been attacked or been has attacked or been attacked by the soldier's target. Extra bonus is granted if they're adjacent. Stand by me. When the, this soldier ends a move adjacent to their bondmate, their bondmate will automatically be cleansed of any negative mental effects. Aww. Oh, how adorable. When deployed on covert action together, the duration is reduced by a day. Yeah, yeah we can do that. we will be like little fucking butt buddies. Great. Yeah, we probably should do this. Troops for their resilience uh, in defeating this creature, Commander. The aliens will be left scrambling to recover from this setback. How will the aliens ever recover? As to tell. New course. We probably should actually create more contacts. Because how many do we have? We have three more contacts. So let's go do Brazil. Commander, we've utilized all of our available oh, well, communications not, not exactly, capacity. but yeah. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Attempting to Commander, we've located one of their facilities. Yeah, we can't do that. Oh good, we got the infirmary. So we kind of need those. And we can also remove negative traits from people here, I think. Commander, the infirmary can be used to improve the recovery process of our wounded soldiers. 
And over time, they'll also recuperate from any negative conditions they've picked up in combat. We can also speed up the process through therapy if needed. This is soldier healing rate. Uh... Do we actually need to do that right now? Let me look at the soldiers right now. Uh, yeah, we should. Which is station engineer. I don't know why an engineer would be here. I would assume a scientist would be here. So what does it say now for um, armory? Oh yeah, much less time. Okay, we might have someone just stationed there all the time. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, we got Talon rounds, granting 20% critical chance and plus 1 damage on critical hits. That would be great for my uh, flankers. Alright. So this one's going to be a workshop, but we need more power. So we can do that. And then we can make the workshop. That's an expensive ass workshop. Initiated. But yeah, we can decrease that as well, and then we're gonna go for the power coil here, but we can't excavate it right now because we need a bunch of engineers, and this is where the Cyanex Bay is gonna be as well. So it's kind of a method to my madness here. Operation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. So what did we get? I don't even know what we did. Oh, that's why Jack I that's why I couldn't remove Jack, which was negative traits. Uh Alright, we can hunt the, the, the Chosen, gather some supplies, 76 supplies. I wouldn't actually mind that, that would, that would be pretty good. It's just five days. Uh, recover loot, alien loot. So yeah, we can gather some supplies. Soldier health plus one. Uh, we can do it with uh, Elena and uh, how about Mox? Mox can use some more health. He seems to be under fire a lot, to be honest. Uh, yeah, TLC can go for that mission. I haven't used TLC in forever. Uh, oh, damn, we have to send a resistance ring. The hell? Proving ground. Infirmary, building workshop. Why do I have a, someone in the resistance ring? Let's just take the guy out of the infirmary for now. What is the, what is this? Actually, what is he doing? Decrease, decrease the duration. Oh, I see. Probably a good idea to have that. And I don't know how I just freed up an additional person. Oh, I don't think we actually sent them out. We didn't actually send anyone out, that's why. Okay. Uh, where is it? It's, uh... Yeah, I gather supplies, that was the one. Yeah, Mox likes to die, so... Who else went? TLC went, and then, uh, Engineer. Alright. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Okay, so there is some point to some of this, which is neat. The two soldiers we sent to the training center have developed an even stronger bond. If we continue to send them out together in the field, their effectiveness will only grow. Oh, we don't get as many supplies now. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Then we get psionics, uh, so we can make the psylab now. And psyamps. Spare parts. Uh, here's the, that one. Modular vector rifles. Huh. Oh, I can do that. I see a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. All right, so the chosen double their efforts to hunt uh, the commander, seeking to ca capture XCOM soldiers. Uh, it's just complete. Many new faces to serve yeah. on your resistance. Probably got to deal with this fucker. You most. You fail to protect them. The chosen are gonna do what. Oh, we got that down now. New regional contacts located. All right, so we got a couple more. Commander, the resistance forces we just contacted in this region have provided us all the intel they have on the chosen actively working in the area. And just where do you think you're going? If it's a fight you're after, you better bring everything you've got. 
Alright, well, we can't get anyone else. Uh, what do these guys do? Build faster? Okay. It's not bad, but, you know. Avenger plotting new course. You'll get more intel, I guess. I'm actually curious about uh, what we can still build here. Like, flashbangs and stuff would be still pretty nice. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Uh, build items. I want to make a nano scale vest, though. That requires 30 supplies. We can only make either a flashbang or a smoke grenade or something. Let's do a nano scale vest. That shit's actually cash. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. All right. So, will plus three, all right. I guess only can can do it. <laughs> Which will get an upgrade, TLC got an upgrade too. Because Mark Payne can go, sure. Mark Payne, you're, you're going out. Remove the risk of anyone being captured. All right, I'll send, uh, I guess we'll send Witchel out. Are they going, how long are they going for? Like, fucking couple days? Yeah, we'll Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Uh, well, I probably should have upgraded him before he left, but TLC gets uh, combat protocol. Most times I always wish that we had combat protocol. Is there any, like, uh, bonds I'm supposed to do? Because I keep seeing the icon for that. I'm just wondering if it's something I'm supposed to click. Oh. Uh. Confirm bond? Sure. You're with Fernardo or something. Dude, this guy doesn't even have a real name. Yeah, I don't care. They don't need a poster. <laughs> this guy's sad. Like, I didn't even bring him on any missions or anything. This is also someone random. Oh, Jack, which will get to friend. There you go. I hope you're ready to be famous. So I guess there is a point to that, sort of. Bond made. Alright. Alright, well, let's continue on with this. Supply raid. Yeah, sure, we can do that. Oh, Brazil. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Uh, I brought like all three like special people with us too. Like it's like, yeah, you want these three fucks, right? Yeah, but that will be for next time, guys. Because remember, Commander, I appreciate Shen you will be talking the for the engineering team. But as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Oh, right, yeah. 